Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to be taking a look at the extension Shoot. No, Shoot is nothing like whoops. Uh, it sounds like it, and it's probably something I've said when I've made a mistake before, but Shoot is an awesome extension that allows you to leverage, I can't remember, tens of thousands, hundreds, uh, thousands and thousands of pre-made plant components that you can put into your model, into your landscape model, and not just add 2D and face me components, but actually create a list of those plants that you have in your model. So let's check out how that works. Let's hop in right now. All right, so on Extension Warehouse, this is the listing page. This is the, the Shoot Plant Planner. It is currently, as of this video, on the front page, so it's pretty easy to find. If not, there's not a whole lot of extensions out there named Shoot which is really a shame, but you can download this for free, install it, very easy, one click kind of install, not a problem at all. Once it installs, you get a one button UI, which you guys know, I'm a fan of that. Clicking that one button will bring up the shoot UI. Now, when you first get it, you will have be asked to sign in or create a shoot account. Um, you can do this, Pretty easy, quick to sign up. Um, there are different levels of membership you can have, but check that out. When you do log in, all you have to do is put your account in once and the extension remembers it. It signs you in right away. It's really very easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in real quick. And there we go. As soon as I sign in, uh, I'm presented with Again, a very simple UI. So what Shoot will do is it will remember groups of plants that you want to use and save them into these gardens. Um, I guess I was feeling rather uninspired. I named mine Test Garden 1 and Test Garden 2. And <laughs> what a garden consists of is a list of plants. You can add to these plants or remove from the default. Uh, pretty easy to do. Um, adding a plant as simple as hitting add a plant and then searching. I don't know a whole lot about plants. I know ferns are kind of cool. So what I can do then is I can actually take one of these. I can click on it. It's going to show me the information about it. This is really cool. This is one of my favorite parts about it. Because like I said, I'm not hugely into plants and landscaping. It's just something I've never really learned too much about. But the amount of information that Shoot applies or, or makes available to me is, is crazy. I have some picture in here. Um, it tells me, you know, <laughs> when, how big it's going to get, how wide it's going to get, how long it's going to mature, what types of soil, all this information, additional information about this plant. If I like that plant, I can hit plus, and then that will get added to my text, my test garden. What I can do is as I add these, I can choose between proposed and planted. So if I have existing stuff that I'm going in and you know, creating, here's what's here already in there. I can put that in as planted. If it's proposed, this is the new plants I want to add. I put them in the proposed group. And then I have this user defined group. So I can say, I want to group them together by what day I'm going to install them. Or, you know, maybe, maybe they're getting installed months apart. I don't know. I don't know what the reason you would want to do it, but any, any reason you'd want to come in and group these plants on a report separately, you could do that with your second user defined group. Once I have that set up, I can hit add plant and that will show up in my garden. So I now have a boss fern, which sounds pretty cool. Um, so this is nice because like I said, you have these different gardens so I can jump back to garden projects. And from here I could switch to my other gardens as I want. Once I'm in a garden, I do have some additional options show up up here. Uh, I have a log out, a help. Uh, or contact us and help. It brings up a little window that shows both. And then of course settings. Settings are pretty simple. What's your measurement, imperial or metric? Um, do you want to include the 2D silhouette? Do you want to include plant labels? Do you want to do black and white mode? I, I want color if I can, you know. Uh, and do you want to show the property box? I'm keeping all that stuff on. I'm going to save that. And uh, the other option here is a plant report. Plant report's not going to do much right now because we don't have anything here, right? We don't have, we haven't put anything in, but what this will do is once you have these uh, plants in your model, you'll actually be able to run a report on what's in the model. So it's very nice, very simple, quick and easy way to just export a CVS file, 
of those plants. So let's hop back into, I'm gonna go into my garden one. I'm just gonna put a couple plants in so you guys can kind of see how that works. All right, let's 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 grab this first one. Um, again, if I want to see this, I can click on it. It's gonna show me what the picture is. It's gonna show me, again, season, size, all that important stuff that I need when I'm considering putting a plant in. Uh, if I want to, I can hit these little dots here. I can delete the plant, remove it from my garden, or I can say edit symbol. In edit symbol, I have the option of choosing a color. I can set the opacity, how, how do I want 100% opacity or lighter? And then what's the, what's the call out in the 2D geometry? Um, I'm assuming these are standard. I don't know, again, I don't know a lot about it, but I can see from this ACLG, I get where that name comes from. Um, I have the ability of choosing my 2D silhouette. So my top-down silhouette and my 2D face me, I can change that. Uh, I could actually toggle if I want the face me component in there or not. If I turn face me components off, uh, rather than getting this picture that, that always faces the camera, I'll get just a big arrow that points down right in the middle of that component. And then of course I can change the size. The size here is connected to the information that I showed you about the plant. So four foot 11, four foot 11 is what the you know expected size is going to be. But if for whatever reason I wanna change that, how it shows up on the screen, I can show that. I can change my spread, which is my, you know, my horizontal dimension and then my height vertical. Once that's all good, if I want to place this in my model, all I have to do is go back here to my list, uh, click on the little circle here, a little check mark will show up. And now if I come over to my model, I'll have this ready to plant. So I'm gonna just go ahead and hover over about the corner, click, and I will get one in there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a couple of these in here. Ooh, that's a lot of spread there. Um, <laughs> if I flip, I'm gonna, I have two scenes up here. I'm gonna be flipping back and forth between these a lot. The top, the scene one is a 2D looking down. When I go to this view, you can see there's that, uh, you know, uh, above image, the, the 2D call out for this particular plant plus the text. That looks good if I go to my angle view like this, I get that face me in there. Super, that's the other thing about this, planting, I don't know if you guys have done this very much, but if you start putting plants, like big 3D plants and stuff, you can turn your model into just a crazy mess of polygons. The way Shoot does it with this 2D drawing and the face me keeps your model light and quick. I I did a test model where I went through and dropped one of all of these in and uh, I never saw any slowdown or anything like that. It's very, very uh, easy to work with. All right, so if we come through here, look at a couple of these other ones, maybe I'll grab uh, this little flower and come in here. Oops, there we go. And then maybe I'll put some of these like around here like this. You can see really how quick and easy it is. It's literally just click and that's it. And when you do that, you're getting both the 2D and the 3D. And I can just kind of come through here and oh, let's get something a different color. This one's green. So let's grab that green one. And I apologize if I'm offending any uh, planter people out there who are looking at this going, why in the world would you put those two plants together? I honestly apologize. Um, don't know better. There we go. There's my 2D plants down there at the bottom. And again, if I hop up to the top, see that that included both the 2D and the 3D. So you can kind of get the idea just how quick and easy it is to just create, especially in the hands of somebody who knows better, how quick and easy you could actually come in here and put together just a beautiful looking layout um, using one tool. And it's so, like I said, the thing that I liked about it the most is just how how simple it is, but then practical too, because like I said, at the end of the day, you have these 2D assets and these are components. So if you go in to label them in layout, they're gonna pull out the information that's in here for a component. So you can get that 2D drawing. So that's really nice. Um, because the information is already in there. I don't have to go in and add a bunch of additional data to some, some components that are already there. Um, and again, like, like I said, I, I, I apologize. This is not the most beautiful <laughs> layout you've ever seen in your life, I'm sure. But the fact is, it's so easy to work with that I can always come back here and make changes. I can manipulate and add these additional pieces. I can, 
move things around. Once it gets in here, it's just SketchUp, right? So if this is looking a little too mechanical, I need to make this a little more organic. I can just come in here and use Move to kind of move some of these around. And it is, like I said, it's just SketchUp at this point. So any any changes you want to make, you can just go in and make it. Um, this is looking a little rough over here too. Let's, let's, uh, you know what? Maybe I need to maybe I need to change my opinion on these things, and maybe I just need to like I just need the right tool to become a brilliant landscape designer. No, probably probably need some schooling too, but. This is definitely a step in the right direction. This is an, a way to get in and get these things in here, get these realistic looking images, plants I have to go do, spend a bunch of time cutting things out or making face me's. I didn't have to go create some components. I don't have to pay attention to this information. And I'm not even touching on the back end of Shoot. Shoot is connected to a database of all these like I said, thousands and thousands. I can't remember. Does it say it in here? If I hit add plant, I think it tells me that over 30,000 plants are in here that I could grab and place into my model. I don't have to do that. I don't have to maintain that. Shoot does that for me and I can just grab them and drop them in. So overall, uh, simple interface, easy, quick, quick and easy to learn to use. And again, it adds so much additional context. It's so much additional information from the components that I can label and lay out to the data about each of these plants that's now in my model. And of course, the ability to then report on it, get a list of these material or these uh, plants I wanna put in. Just a great, quick, simple way to create a planting layout right inside of SketchUp. So I gotta apologize again. Like I said, I, I'm, this is probably not the most beautiful garden you've ever seen, but you watched me do it in about five minutes. So that's kind of cool. I'm sure in the hands of the person who knows what those plants are and knows what they're looking for and has an idea of the space they're trying to sculpt, Shoot can only help you turn this around quicker, get higher quality output, and again, the data, the data that's in there about all the plants and the reports you can pull, it's just amazing. It's a great way to turn SketchUp into a landscape creation tool. Check it out. If you liked that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Have you tried this? Have you tried doing this manually? What do you think of doing this with this extension? Is there a different extension you think we should show on our videos? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when showing something you wanna see. Thank you.